Hey everybody, are you ready to diamond paint? You know what? I have been sitting here diamond painting my truck. I'm having here, you know, tea and cookie, watching some YouTube videos, and then and then I decided why waste such a precious time and not to record at least short video. And then I thought, okay, I never have worked with this big tray yet, only with this small one. If you remember, it's three trays that go inside of each other. So this one, as you can see, a long way, right? But that's what's strange about this one, uh, the way lines go in here, go in a long way. And this tray is this way not this way as supposed to be so it's kind of like a strange so i don't know if i'm going to like this or not have this tray will hold the diamonds because obviously i did not try big tray yet because i didn't have a big chunk of area to work on and right now i want to work actually on a truck and there's lots of black diamonds in here so what i will do I will do same thing as I did in here. Remember I told you that in this portion there is a see like plastic sticking out a little bit up there on the corners. So what usually I do I grab my like file nail that I'm using for uh, fake nails uh, for the gel nails this one 180 number and I'm just literally going to scratch this corners that stick it out. Oh, I even have a little bit, probably a little bit damage in here. You see the plastic up there, a little bit kind of catchy. Um, I will kind of make it smooth a little bit. And this corners up there from both sides. Now no catching in here. Okay, not bad. This one already like an old, doesn't really, not sharp. But yeah, it's going to be scratched. But that's what it is. That's what's going to help me. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of diamonds in here. And I want to see how this is going to be comfortable. Because lines go in a different direction. I don't know why I pour like this instead of through the hole. I guess that's okay. So yeah. So, oh, flying saucer. That's the same thing in here. See, you can see that I uh, file that corner to make it smooth as well. Love the small trays. Really nice. Okay, thank you Daisy, you decided to walk away. So I'm going to put a whole bunch of these diamonds. This, um, that's maybe too much, I don't know. We'll find out. So usually I hold, like because there's no closure, so I put my fingers and I would go a long way first to spread it out and then go this way, but this is a different story. So we're just going to do random whatever, just to put a lower tray kind of very weird um, and you know what else weird because this side where is more okay we're gonna turn the other way this side see it doesn't have a lines or sideways this way so you can see smooth that's what's supposed to be go leftovers of the diamonds so if I want to put leftovers of the diamonds, the old diamonds going to be slide away because that's the way the line, line is supposed to go this. So I think they did a mistake and this line should be like maybe on the bottom. Anyway, they printed wrong lines, I would say. It's supposed to be this way and then empty space when you shuffle diamonds they would go nicely to the edge now it just keeps slipping away so what i will do i will spread it out again through the whole frame and then i will do make them fall not on the side but on the bottom so let's see how many diamonds will survive in the lines before they're gonna start to fall away okay so we do we still have Lots of good lines. Now I just need to figure out how I'm going to pick them this way. Usually I do this way. Mm. Yeah, a little bit confused with this tray. Maybe I will use horizontal. Don't know. Don't know. A little confused in this thing. 
All right, so let me sip one more time tea while it's still hot. Double check cell phone not muted. Okay, now it is. I was working yesterday a little bit on it and I was doing those AB diamonds in here. So I'm going to peel this sheet this way to the top and I will try to work with multiplacer because it seems to be like not bad work with multiplacer and I'm just going to use regular regular pen okay blue tag just gonna fix it okay let's get to the canvas and uh, right now I'm just placing in here on the bottom so I guess maybe we're going to continue the way or we could no we're gonna start a bigger line okay so somewhere where should I start? I like to start like from the top. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna lift the tripod so I can open my area where I'm going to place and let me adjustment. So we're going to start like from the top somewhere. Let's see, like that. It's going to be a little bit far away for you, but hopefully okay. So. Simple B. Um, well, I guess I'm going to hold it like this and that way kind of just pick like this. A little bit weird, I have to admit. A little bit weird. Okay, I'm not going to all the way to the top. I need to place some half straight first line. Oh, it's not straight at all. Maybe because I'm kind of far away from the actual. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where I, I can keep my this tray. Just a minute, we will figure out together. Because usually to keep diamonds straight, I do like when I grab my diamonds for right, and then I kind of push them to the side of the tray, like to the side, like push it to make sure they line up straight. Uh, right now I have only three diamonds stick, so let's place this tray. Okay, when I was working by myself, I was doing pretty good with um, multiplacer. I don't know if this tray of this position make me feel like I'm not doing a straight placement. And definitely, okay, somebody skip texting me. Hold on, what is going on? Diamonds, diamonds. Diamonds need to push away. <sighs> I don't like it. Okay, let me try to keep a tray from the other position. Okay, a big line. Okay, work. Just a random one time I was working only with black diamonds and I was like oh my god it's so much that I already have enough. 
So I started work around the truck. The grass, the trees, the sky. But you know what? I still have to finish black. Let's try a little bit one by one to at least make uh, some kind of lines in here. I got lost it with this big tray because now my diamonds look much smaller because of the tray bigger and I'm a little bit confused with these lines. It's like totally different from what I used to and I can't pick correctly straight diamonds and make them stick correctly. So I don't know, I might well have to go to my smaller tray but use this big one if I want to just to place with one I, I guess I just have to get used to it that's all I just need to suck it up and get used to it let me put diamonds on the other side I'm gonna shake it one more time and make a line it's a little bit on a different side because Bear with me, bear with me. Very awkward. I just don't want to spill those diamonds. Okay, now I have a, like a big line. If you want me to zoom out a little bit so you can see my struggle in here. But from this side not gonna work because my tray have to go from this side. Um, so you can see. Uh, Maybe like this. All right, let's try it again. Okay, maybe from this side will be better. This is the canvas that um, custom made from fan cell. And that's the trouble canvas because it's a brand of Huacan and we all know the Huacan brand is not very good to have a popping drills, especially in square diamonds. Uh, I did a round one and round one is fine, but square, I'm struggling in here to finish this diamond painting because when you have a popping drills, you don't really enjoy it and some of this area where canvas was having a kind of little bit of the folds a little bit wiggle and the diamonds doesn't want to stick correctly and that's my problem because they keep popping out and i will have to definitely i will have to try to seal after and hopefully put under the glass to keep it nice and safe. It's a nice big tray. I just don't understand why they make those lines in the opposite direction. It's not comfortable for me. I don't know, maybe you have a different opinion and you will like it but to me for now smaller trays is the keeper and this one i don't know as a storage area i'm not sure i don't really like the idea of lines line up in the wrong direction
Maybe I just need to get used to it, that's all. This diamond seems like nice diamonds. I don't know why I... I thought I didn't like them. Maybe that was a mix with some different canvas I was thinking. Because... Look at that. Diamonds looks nice. Oh, look, look gray right now. Because I have a blinds open white. Diamonds looks weird. But they are black. Looks gray <laughs> on a light and a camera like this from far look correct. Hopefully with the help of the multiplacer I can manage to create track a little bit faster and after that you know when it's bigger part done then it feels like the other colors put together quicker I should finish this like long time ago this is our truck that was stolen if some of you don't know the story it's my in my video of cross stitch I was telling the story what happened to it uh, I think video called the beast I don't know <laughs> but yeah lots of uh, interesting stories about this truck how we got it back my husband was like investigator almost he did almost all the job by himself So if you are interested, find the video. There is some, oh, a little bit far away from you, but there is some AB diamonds like in here and here. Lots of AB diamonds we have like all over on the grass where you can see the white part um, I did already video of AB diamonds place on this truck I started long time ago just wish I could finish sooner It doesn't look like I don't feel a, like a pop in drills. It's not too bad, but some diamonds doesn't want to stick. And its problem is because this glue is very thin, and even this glue would be okay, but the canvas is very thin. So if I move around, the canvas kind of gets squished, you know, or whatever, and just popping the diamond away because the glue also very thin layer and all that little thing kind of effect okay with multiplacer I move this one a little bit lower my other diamond not gonna fit have to pick smaller one that's what I sometimes to do uh, there is sometimes diamonds could be bigger or smaller in this situation I'm trying to get a smaller one to fit but they look pretty kind of like equal I don't know it's never good to use multiplacer because it's hard to aim kind of let's try to do like this way maybe I will see better
maybe this better. I had a choice today to do or uh, like uh, the crystal design in square or this one so I thought okay I already recently have the video I think that was yesterday as I record this one so might as well give a little bit more love to this design because I do need to finish okay I can feel it feel the diamonds need to roll it later definitely need to roll I would recommend so not to use who can brand for the custom diamond painting because if you remember my custom diamond painting of hydrangea from my garden that canvas was regular canvas but it was beautiful it was such a good like layer of glue and diamonds was amazing everything was perfect so I don't know why they decided to change unless this is cheaper I don't like the idea I have to I will give them full of my opinion after I complete this okay I have to pause my video now million years later and I switched to my <laughs> smaller tray I don't remember anymore what I were talking about in the first part of my video but I know that all that nice sunny light from my window long time gone it is 8 p.m. now and I sit down just now to try to diamond paint a little bit more and I thought okay maybe I should just finish this video so let's see if we can continue without any multiplacer just one by one slowly so what I did this time when I wasn't diamond painting I clear up some kitchen a little bit prepared because my husband came home and he said that yes tomorrow we will start renovate our kitchen cabinets a little bit not like a hundred percent just uh, some changes and Mm. oh puppy dreaming my goodness and then maybe my fault because I'm talking loud now disturbing his sleep he's like right next to me on the sofa so is his mother um, yeah so I move some stuff around and we're gonna start tomorrow on Thursday and finish on Friday and then hopefully next week we will renovate bathrooms that's the plan sounds like a fun right not much going to be crafting's going on good thing i already have some videos on my channel but i'm sure at night sometimes like right now time i can manage to record some extra diamond painting because all this week a lot like stitch reviews I remember recording till the end of this month just created a new order but uh, st one of the store that I just ordered product I was going to pick like diamond paintings and cross stitch but the store was glitching so badly it was so slowing down and freezing on me that I just pick first part f end up with the cross stitch and didn't have energy anymore to pick diamond paintings because it was just so slow and I've been trying to create this order for like three or four days now 
So I just give up and send just a one small order and tell them to fix their website. And that is New Craft Day. I don't know, you can check and see if it's work for you better or not. Uh, I thought, okay, could be my computer maybe, but when I go to different store, I don't have that problem. It like load pages quickly. So I think it could be because store have lots of like a pop-up cells and some animated uh, pictures. And that's what all slowing down website. I have that before with FG Normal. I asked them to fix it. Now it's working much faster. So that's what's happening. Oops. Missed that diamond. Okay. I forgot what kind of... If I still have to place in here um, AB diamonds or I already all finished them. I can't remember. But I decided that most likely I will stick with black diamonds till I finish them to get over it. Kind of boring with this particular diamond painting. Maybe if this wouldn't be like a popping, it would be more fun. But when I was touching like in some of the area on the truck, uh, I like, like I feel and I feel and that it doesn't fit correctly. <laughs> and I kind of rolled them today again. And I don't think so it's working as I want it to be. So when you have an experience that it's not very smoothly everything go, that's like slowing you down and you don't really in a hurry to finish. But I have to because I love this truck. Okay, definitely need more wax. <clears throat> I think I will switch back into my, uh, what do you call it, to my blue tag. I'm going to pull out, oh, I did have a blue tag, then I mix on a blue wax, and all together it just doesn't stick very well. Hold on, let me just refill it quickly. There, brand new, now it should work. Alright, so that's the part that we started with you before. So let's continue. Oh, Poppy, where are you going? Okay. They get in like very sleepy this time of the day. Let me... Okay, is it too much flushing? Let's see. Hmm, like that. Okay, so I'm going to start from the top. The most important thing I hear the car doors banging from neighbors. Sometimes Daisy like to bark. She's sleeping tight right now. Hopefully she don't hear it because out of nowhere sometimes she start bark. I literally like jumping out of my pants because it's so unexpected sometimes that just scare me. So right now I guess she missed that point because she would be woofing right now.
yeah I didn't place in here very straight with my multi-placer I'm using this little tool that I got from cross stitch uh, I already empty from the threads but also you can see like I put bits of wax if I have to clean from my pen so that's a comfy little tool kind of like a mini garbage okay one diamond at a time I can straighten up this lines a little bit better in here that I placed not so nice is this one it feels like you know what I missed to diamond paint I know I have this gorgeous crystal that I still have to do it yes I love that but I should do again and I know a uh, few of you ask me if I finish or did I do progress that big beautiful castle oh my goodness I feel so guilty that no I did not work on any of this for a long time or my beautiful roses custom the humongous one I need to start finish them so that's why I kind of pull out this one because this one should be finished long time ago originally I wanted to finish this for like or like birthday or some kind of like uh, maybe for Christmas and just lots of things going on lots of things happening busy and just keep procrastinating so definitely need to finish now since I already started I'm going to continue little by little every day usually without camera then I can get like a good look at the canvas to bend over nicely over the canvas and do with the multi placer so this kind of area I can do much quicker but you know I tried this to do on a camera and my placement just not good on camera to use multi placer or maybe that big tray I have to use I have to, need to get used to the big tray it's just kind of not comfortable maybe it would be like more comfortable if I would do like by myself uh, to do work but to record kind of you, you need to find a place for the camera on top of your canvas then I need to find the room for the tray to make sure it's comfortable for me to stitch and just didn't work the way those lines go I don't know feel awkward maybe I will use for something else like I don't know special jams or something okay how did they do this line look straight now right that's what I'm saying when you do little by little one at a time then your oh wax a little bit then your placement will look better those guys they will do my kitchen tomorrow that's the one that's supposed to create for me a cross stitch frame I am purposely not going to <laughs> say nothing okay I'm going to move okay this place you see uh, there's this diamonds I keep placing placing them and they I feel like they keep popping and popping so I don't know if that's a but not sticky or diamond no diamond look perfectly fine mm -mm. what else up there that was easy come out could be glue not very sticky I don't know let me put some 
different little tiny diamond up there see if that gonna stick okay we will find out later so gonna, like it's it's pushing each other I can feel it and I roll this in here that's what I'm saying it's just when a problem like the secure it, it just doesn't make it fun to work anymore on it yeah And I think I work in here with multiplacer, so it could be my mistake because I work with multiplacer, and my diamonds didn't like didn't do straight lines or something. Maybe that's why I have a, like a popping. No idea. But it get me frustrated. When I done black color, it's going to be probably more than 70% done because most in here truck black with few shades of different color here and there for the highlights and then on the top of their hold on situation here. Need to fit in here a little diamond see it doesn't am I over flushing you as well? next to me braider this one tool a braider 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 so oh got a little dusty because I didn't use for a while just did you hear clicking we'll click later again because because it doesn't go flat as I want to. Also, I was stitching today for the Sunday. I already started to create video for Sunday because I need to have some progress. So I guess this video probably will be another video on, is it on Thursday or what? Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I have tomorrow video for you. Not tomorrow, today as you're watching. I have a cross stitch. So I will try to upload this video as well so you can have a both cross stitch and diamond painting. That would be good for everyone. Oh, who else wants to subscribe to my puppy channel? I need 12 more subscribers. Oh my goodness. You all guys good so much. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't know if any of you or that's a new people. But for my golden life of Buddy and Daisy channel. Need only 12 more subscribers. And we will reach our first goal of 1000 subscribers. Yay. That's amazing. Maybe if I feel 
still motivated maybe I will put one more video on that channel if all the pieces that I have will make a sense of the completed video or just a few little episodes whatever some kind of like a short video because I have some that I record time from time and then later thinking should I upload or not or sometimes I'm thinking okay I'm gonna record this then tomorrow I will do this and then video will be ready and then I forget or no time or no good light or puppy not cooperate <laughs> you know how many time I want to take like a nice picture and they look just a second and just keep running. They don't have a time to pose to me. They have their own business to run around. Yeah, this part completely black. Just the one in here R symbol. Oh, in here one. See, this one is coming out a little bit. Oopsie, not straight. Okay. Okay, let me let me try a few more with the multiplacer. Maybe if I start from the bottom, let's try it. Get over it quicker. This black diamonds. Sometimes they layer nice, and sometimes just not gonna stick correctly. Okay, I think Daisy's dreaming. She's making noises with her cheeks, sucking on her tongue. I think. Hopefully not gonna start working and scare everybody. Oh my goodness, the other day I was recording a video and I meant to cut it out, that blooper out of my video and I forgot. It's when a, a Google device start talk to me in Spanish and I was like, oh really? spying on me and I didn't even ask questions sometimes they say word okay and it's listen as a trigger because if I want to ask question I have to say okay Google and then she's gonna reply to me and that particular day I say something loud but nothing about like a question to her she started talking Spanish and I'm just like, my goodness, hopefully no swear words in that sentence of Spanish because I don't understand. I was trying to teach uh, Spanish. I even have a, a dictionary, like a little practice book to learn uh, the full kind of conversation thing. And so I can talk a little bit but what she told me this thing device no idea hopefully nothing that you know like YouTube can block my video for copywriting or something because I don't know what she said and I was like wow really so one time it did like that as well interrupt our conversation the family and start talking so we ask her, are you spying on us? She's like, no, I'm not spying. I'm just trying to kind of have the answer. To learn how to answer correctly, like what's your needs? Like, but come on, don't interfere with me not asking. So it could be this device is spying on us and listening to our conversation all day long. So if you have uh, some secrets, you better unplug the device. <laughs> Never know. Right? I'm trying to... Oh, um, didn't work this way. Sometimes take five instead of four. And it's exactly like perfect five lines in here.
Mm, doesn't stick very well. Yeah, it's gonna take me forever to finish just the black diamonds. Well, I didn't expect anything else from the black truck, right? But I didn't mean to have this kind of glue or diamonds. You know what? Um, this diamonds popping because it's a hook and uh, because it's with AB diamonds. So I don't know if they still have an actually older brand. There is no AB diamonds. So maybe they still create an custom and like on a regular canvases like was before I need to find out about it okay so we are going to finish this little square in here with you and then maybe I will get a camera in my hands I kind of just to show you a little bit more close what we have here so far and have these diamonds sparkling in this light Just heard my laundry machine stop, so now I'm going to do laundry fold or put on a hangers in a closet. Work never stop. Nobody cancel. Okay, this one is gonna pop in here anyway, later. <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. It's going to pop no matter how I will try hard. It's going to be end up like it's, I can feel the bump. one black diamond I don't know if I pull out this diamond by the rolling it or I lost it by shaking it tray over I don't know gonna put my tray that diamond okay so let me show you how this is going to look like from my point of view as you can see it's shining very nice like a nice sparkle uh, can you see where is uh, shining like AB diamonds let me just figure out how to show you there's a um, AB diamonds you have the flashing up there yes they are really shiny and then I have lots of AB diamonds right in here in this right in here you see it Lots of lots of AB diamonds. They are sparkle, very nice diamonds. It's just a canvas itself. Who can? I cannot stand this. Um, yeah, so here's the grassy area, just a few simple here and there missing. Uh, and also, I did okay. Oh, see, you can see there is the AB shining and all the spots in here. On the top, right in here, AB diamonds, here touch AB diamonds, and the leaves, look at AB diamonds in here, but look at this one, okay, have, have to get my, oh, from my view, see, all those beautiful diamonds, they line up nice, I don't have any popping diamonds in here oh, here is 80 diamonds and those black one up there look how gorgeous yeah they're gorgeous 
but uh, I guess just applied diamonds and I don't understand why just because maybe I use up there multi-placer then get straight but it's still I'm blaming canvas because it's not enough of the I don't know the canvas too soft and glue not strong but here it is half of the truck almost done just left like on the top in here this part yeah literally this part and the back of the truck will be done I just need to front looking good uh, when I was doing slowly kind of diamond painting kind of hard to understand what is going on but now when I'm looking from far it's kind of amazing how you you can see the shade like a shadow under the truck you can see a reflection of the grass on a bumper because it's chrome like nice and shiny right and then yes we have to finish shadow area in here lots of diamonds missing there yet but those a b so many of them in here amazing oh i think there's a a b will be on the window up there this white kind of symbol no it will look amazing it will look amazing it will be very very shiny as you can see i just have to finish well thank you for diamond painting with me and if you're stitching hey that's work too thank you